Hey, this is Steve with Cardiac Cycling. Today we're going to talk about updating your DI2 firmware and programming your DI2. All done with the app found on Shimano's website, the app called eTube Project. At the most basic level, if you want to update the firmware on your DI2 or do some programming to your DI2, most basic level you're going to need three things. One, you're going to need an internet connected computer. A laptop is a great thing to have, especially if you're like me and you're going to do this stuff in the garage. So, get the laptop. Two, you're going to need the charge cable that came with your DI2, and that's what we have in here. Three, you're going to need the program known as E. Tube project. Where do you get that? Well, in the description down below, I'm going to put the link. So let's get started. Once you have the eTube project app downloaded to your computer, you're going to select as I'm going to do here the type of bike you have. Oops, we just lost the whole thing. No, here she comes. All right, you can see it's checking for the latest version of the app. Everything looks good. Next it says here, connection check. We're going to come to the junction box and just like we were going to charge the system, we're going to hook up the battery charger. This guy in here, again, just as if we were going to charge the battery for the DI2. I've already connected one end of the cable to the laptop and you can see on the device here that we have the light indicating that we're charging. Now we're going to, I love my touch screen, we're going to check the connection. And this says PC linkage device connection request. Now it says charging has stopped because the E2 project has been started. That's what we want. That's a good thing to see. We click OK. Now it's saying connect the bicycle to the SMBRC excuse me, BCR2, and click Next. Well, this works as the SMBCR2. And so we're going to go ahead and click Next. All right, so it says here Unit Recognition, and it's recognizing the unit. So there's a process that it has to go through, and you can see the green bar coming across. Bingo, bango, it says it's still recognizing the unit, and voila. We just wanted to check the connection, so we're going to say complete. There we go. So now we're at the screen where we can either update the firmware. If we had uh, a, an error, we can check the errors. We can customize, and that's on the right-hand side. That's where we would do that. We want to update the firmware. So, this says update firmware. All units are equipped with their latest version. So, there we have it. The firmware of her bike is up to date. Nothing further to do. We're through with that piece. Now, if we want to customize, we would go into the customization screen. Click customize, and then it gets you into another menu set. So, switch settings, front derailleur adjustment setting, rear derailleur adjustment setting, shift mode setting, multi-shift mode setting. And within those options, there are still other options. This video is intended to help you get to this point. One, very important, you want to make sure you have up-to-date firmware at all times. Two, if you want to do some programming, there are a lot of options from which to choose, as, as you just heard me read. So rather than try to go through all those in this short video, I would refer you to the help manual. It goes into detail on what to do. In conclusion, let me say, if you're not tech savvy or you have any reservation at all about updating your firmware, about doing any programming, don't do it. Take your bike to the local bike shop. Where they'll hook your bike up to the eTube Project app. They'll update your firmware. And they'll also make whatever system programming changes you would like to have made. Hope you found this video useful. 
and look forward to seeing you out on the road. If you enjoy what you see on this channel, please click the subscribe button.